Lerens Abbey is a Cistercian monastery on the island of St. Honorat, one of the Lerens Islands, on the French Riviera, with an active monastic community. There has been a monastic community there since the 5th century. The construction of the current monastery buildings began around 1073. Today the monks cultivate vineyards and produce wine and liqueur. History First foundation The island, known to the Romans as Larina, was uninhabited until St. Honoratus, a disciple of a local hermit named Caprisius of Larens, founded a monastery on it at some time around the year 410. According to tradition, Honoratus made his home on the island intending to live as a hermit but found himself joined by disciples who formed a monastic community around him. This had become an immense monastery by 427, according to the contemporary writings of John Cassian. In 426 Street, Maximus was elected abbot and remained for seven years until he was appointed the first documented leader of the ancient diocese of Rees. The second abbot increased the notoriety of the cloister by his miracles and sanctity. There is also a tradition that St. Patrick, patron saint of Ireland, studied here in the 5th century and during the 6th century. St. Quinidius was a monk at Lerens. The abbey provided three bishops for the Diocese of Arles. Honoratus himself, followed by Hilarius and Caesarius in the 5th and 6th centuries respectively. One of the church's most famous authors Vincent of Lerins dwelt in this monastery in the 5th century. Saint Nazarius, the 14th abbot of Lerins, probably during the reign of the Merovingian Clotaire II, successfully attacked the remnants of paganism on the southern coast of France, overthrew a sanctuary of Venus near Cannes, and founded on its site a convent for women, which was destroyed by the Saracens in the 8th century. In the 630s, Saint Agricola of Avignon was a monk here before being called to become Bishop of Avignon. Over the following centuries, monastic life on the island was interrupted on several occasions by raids, mostly attributable to Saracens. Around 732, many of the community, including the abbot, Saint Porcarius, were massacred on the island by invaders. It is said that many of the monks escaped, because Porcarius had been warned of the attack by an angel and had sent him to safety. Second foundation After about 300 years, a fortified monastery was built between the 11th and 14th centuries. In medieval times, the island became a very popular place of pilgrimage. This was encouraged by the writings of Raymond Ferraud, a monk who composed a mythological life of Honoratus. In 1635 the island was captured by the Spanish and the monks were expelled. They returned from exile in Valorish two years later, when the island was retaken by the French. The monastery continued to suffer from Spanish and Genoza attacks. The number of monks dwindled to four and, in the pre-revolutionary climate of the time, the monastery was disestablished in 1787. In the French Revolution, the island became the property of the state, and was sold to a wealthy actress, Mademoiselle de Saintville, who lived there for 20 years. Third foundation In 1859, the island was bought by the Bishop of Fregis, who sought to re-establish a religious community there. Ten years later, a Cistercian community was founded, which has remained there since.